Okay. Welcome back, my nines. Missed you guys. Julie Salant, I am your spiritual teacher, animal communicator. Thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you. Please don't forget to like, I can't talk, like, share, and subscribe. And today I want to talk about currency. So I've changed the channel, but I don't know if you saw the last video that I made. Not a lot of people did because it's not geared to your specific number. So that's why I'm making this now. So you'll see it. Um, I am moving out of foundational stuff and really delving into some really much deeper teachings that's more in line with who I truly am. And it's all about helping you reawaken to who you truly are. I'm running a Brave Academy. I've had this in my mind for five years and it's finally happening. I'm super excited about it. And it's four months and four modules, and it's going to cover a lot of super cool stuff. But the first module is all about foundations in terms of reawakening, helping you to remember who you are, where you're from, if you're Palladian, Atlantean, wherever you're from, and then really diving into some super cool stuff like your gifts going to the realms, um, really just waking up to who you are and your magnificence. So it's exciting. Um, but Today, what I want to talk about with you is currency. And if you didn't see the last video, what I mean by this is currency is what do you value most in your life? Okay. So for me, I value freedom and flexibility. And the old paradigm that most of us are in, in terms of work, doesn't work anymore or hasn't worked. So what I'm saying is whether you're an entrepreneur or whether you go to um, a corporate job, normally, We've all been indoctrinated into the system of you work 50 weeks and then you get two weeks off, which is nothing. You work, work, work. You never make that much money. You probably don't do work you like. You may hate what you do. Um, you're not using your gifts. And we work our whole lives and then we retire. But the problem is once you retire, you're older, your health might be declining. You can't move as well. So it's not like a win-win situation. And when I say currency, if I ask you what you want in life right now, more than anything, a lot of you would say money, right? Yeah, I want millions. Of course you do. But it's not the money that makes you happy. Yes, we all need money to put food on the table, right? It's not the money. It's what the money gives you, the experiences, right? I went to a, uh, Italy and I loved it, right? It's that experience that I had with my family that I'll never forget. Or um, you know, swimming with the dolphins, the money got me the experience, but the experience is what I value. I don't remember how much the dolphins cost. I remember the experience of swimming with them. See what I'm saying? So it's all about finding the currency that moves you because I'll tell you, it's the end of the year, 2021, we're in December and I'm looking at next year. Now I'm an entrepreneur. Now, right now it's almost 11 o'clock at night and I'm still working, making these videos for you guys, but I took most of the day off. I took most of yesterday off and I get to make my own hours. So I work really hard, but there's also times where I'm able to relax where other people have to work. So my goal next year is to do the Brave Academy and have some private clients, right? Here's an example, work for four months and then take a couple months off and then work another couple months and then take another couple months off. So it's more even, right? It's not, you're working, working, working and then you get like one week off. Now, if I asked you right now, if I said to you, okay, go take two months off, could you do it? Most of you are gonna say no for two reasons. One, you're gonna say, Julie, I don't have the money to take two months off. And I get it. The other reason is um, I could never leave my business for two months. If I left my job for two months, corporate wise, it wouldn't be there. If I'm an entrepreneur, I can't leave my job up for two months, right? Who's gonna take care of my people? What I'm saying is there are a lot of places in the world like Italy and Portugal who will pay you to come live there for a year, right? Italy will pay you like $32,000. Portugal will pay like $50,000. I saw on the internet last night. You have to stay for a certain amount of time, but especially if you have your own business and you live the laptop lifestyle, right? There's ways that you can make things happen is what I'm saying, right? To get what you want out of life. So my goal would be work for four hours, for four hours, four months, take a couple months off, right? And when I'm there, let's just say I'm in Portugal for two months 
well, I could say, you know what, I'm going to work for, uh, I don't know, three days, I'll do like three days VIP for six people, and then I'll take the rest of the month off, and do it again the next month. So there's, you get to decide, but it's the currency that you value. So I would like you to take a pen and a, pe a piece of paper, and I'd like you to think about the currency, what drives you the most, right? What drives you? What makes you happiest? Is it freedom? Is it flexibility? What is it? And then figure out how much money you would need to make that happen and then work backwards and say, okay, I would need to, to work this many hours or have this many clients or whatever it is to get this much money that I could then take off to go here. And it doesn't even have to be exotic. It could be just something like, I know a lot of people lately um, that are, have sold their houses and they're like, just, they're getting like those Airstream, Airstreamers are called it, whatever. And they're just traveling around with their families for a year. My coach is doing that. If a friend is doing that, people want that flex. It's the flexibility, right? They want to be able to pick up and move and go to different places before it's too late and they can't do it because when they're older, they'll be too tired, right? So for them, again, it's flexibility and freedom. Um, I want to acknowledge, and I said this in the other videos to the other people, the other master numbers, um, that it's the holidays and sometimes this is a hard time for people. It's not all awesome. It's hard for me. Uh, if it's hard for you, I just want to acknowledge that you're not alone. And also the guides are telling me to tell you a lot of you need to meditate, right? Because you're not doing it and you need to do that. So please start meditating and get to that. All right. Let me, uh, I'll be right back with you. Hold on. Apologies. I got distracted. So I chose, oh, you guys got a lot of cards today. Whew, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, nine cards. That's a lot. Um, they're saying to connect back in. I've been a little lax with it myself. We get busy during the holidays. You have archangels, you have angels, you have totem animals, you have spirit guides, you have ancestors, all who want to help you. But they can't do that unless you ask them to come into your life, right? So please do that because they have not only the protection, but they have the love for you and they want to help you. So if you're going through a difficult time during the holidays, please connect in. Don't pull farther away. Okay. So let me go through some of these cards for you. And I didn't even look at them. Capricorn. Now remember, I don't do the astrology. I just pull them because I want to see what's underneath, what this says underneath the message. It says unstoppable ambition, sage wisdom. You guys are unstoppable. If you believe it, you have to believe it, right? I believe it for you. They're saying to tell you act accordingly. Your astrology planet is Circes. It says mother's love, deep love, let go, cycle of life, death and rebirth. What are you holding on to that's not benefiting you anymore? What people, places, and things are not helping you that are subconscious? that are not working for you. And you keep going and going around the mountain and around the mountain and around the mountain. You could be in a relationship that's been long gone, but you can't move on or you don't wanna move on because of fear. You could be in a job that you absolutely hate, but you're like, I can't get out because I'm stuck because I won't make the money somewhere else. That's all not true. It's not true. Love yourself as much as your mother would, which is a deep love. Let go of the stuff that doesn't serve you and you will experience a rebirth. For your astrology planet, you got make, make, love of nature, grounded, profound connection to nature. What did I say about meditating, right? It can also be going back out into nature and reconnecting in. That's very important that you do that. It's huge. Take your shoes off, walk around if you're in a warm climate. If not, get some snow, make a snowball, touch the trees. It, it's important. Your divine sentient being, it will ground you. For your planet, you got Uranus, change, evolution, freedom, and growth. Change equals evolution equals your freedom and your growth. Growth is here for you. It's all over the place. Sage wisdom, growth, deep love, growth, rebirth, growth, love of nature, grounded connection to nature, profound. For the moon, you got the snow moon, 
Renewal, embrace the new light. That's so beautiful. You guys have a new opportunity in front of you and you don't realize it or you're putting it to the side. You're ignoring it. Why? Why are you doing that? Please stop doing that. The universe, your guardians and your guides are trying to help you. And you're like this, stop, stop. And they're going, why? You're not happy. You're not moving forward. Let us help you. When you renew your energy and embrace the new light, everything changes around you. You are a amazing being, a divine sentient being. You're an artist. You're a writer. You're great with finances. Act accordingly, guys. You got this. You're a cheerleader. Fixed star, Azale Fafage. Tale of the swan, your actions are manifesting. Law of attraction bring to fruition. Do you think that a swan sits around thinking that it's a duck? Where my sister lives, they have swans everywhere. Black swans too, they're beautiful. I know swans can be mean. There's ducks too, there's loons, there's beautiful, just beautiful birds. But swans are different because they're so big and majestic and beautiful. But swans don't act like ducks. They don't hang with them. They're like, no, we're different. Like eagles, eagles are not like chickens or turkeys. Act accordingly. That's what you are. Libra. Again, we don't care about the sign. It's about what it says. Harmonize people and situations to your advantage. They're, they're telling me to start, uh, will you please start looking at people as resources? Not in a mean way, but what can they help you with? Right? And last but not least, your Egyptian astrology talk, God of writing, magic, and science. Lovable, creative, wise, and magic. This is you. You're lovable, you're creative, you're wise, and that makes you magical, right? And if I hear somebody out there saying right now, I don't feel like it. I feel beat. I feel run down. I feel like I don't have any money. I don't have anything. It's Christmas. I'm alone. I'm sad. I understand. You're not, you're not by yourself. I feel the same way. But you know what? You're an amazing person. You're a divine sentient being. You have choices in front of you that other people don't have. Take the choices. Connect back in to your power. You're lovable. You're creative. You're wise. You're magic. And when you harmonize people in situations and you act right like the swan that you are, and you start manifesting and you bring everything to fruition, you're going to have a renewal that will embrace all the newness, right? That will give you unstoppable ambition, that will give you a death and rebirth, that will let go of all the junk that you have in your mind that's not helping you, people, places, and things. You'll let go of it, which will bring you to being grounded and a love of nature, right? And then you'll have change, evolution, freedom, and growth. Thank you guys. I can't make this up. I don't even look at these. I read them front to back. When I read them back to front, they give you a beautiful message. You guys have an opportunity right now to kill it. Do you believe it? I'm handing you a key to the kingdom. I see it. Do you? It's all in your perspective. All right, guys, all the links will be below. Please do watch the freebie, which is I think each 10 minutes with a colleague of mine who's a spiritual teacher, the two of us, we talk about some super cool stuff regarding currency, regarding being alone and loneliness. And check out the paid as well and the Brave Academy. Everything will be below. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.